so here ns2 minus as we have seen already in basis base uh, base versus nucleophile ns2 minus acts as a base all right since it's a base there will be elimination reaction and you have to decide upon the major product and as a, again as you can cite there are two be two beta carbons this carbon which is directly attached to the leaving group is alpha carbon and the carbon attached to alpha carbon are beta carbon beta 1 beta 2 now if you have elimination from beta 2 you'll have pi bond on this position if you have elimination from beta 1 you'll have pi bond in this position now when you have more substituted alkene perhaps like if, if this this seems to be more substituted because you have two groups this on this side and you have a bulkier group on this side if you have a if you have alkene on this position there will be only one group on this side and one group on this side that seems to be less substituted right so when you have a more substituted alkene then obviously you will also have more number of alpha hydrogens that that will account for more extent of hyperconjugation that will bring about more stability so this becomes a general rule of thumb if you have more substituted alkene that means it is more stable alkene for example suppose you have ethene right ethene have how many number of alpha hydrogens none because ethene do not have this is ethene right and there is no carbon attached from any side to this double bonds this alkene so there is no alpha carbon to provide for hyperconjugation so but suppose instead of one hydrogen you add one R group so it is substituted it's substituted in a sense that one R group ha has been attached instead of hydrogen so this R group will provide some hyperconjugation give some electron into the alkene suppose one hydrogen is more substituted by another R group so now we have two R groups now it becomes more substituted that means two R groups will give hyperconjugation if you replace this hydrogen it is yet further substituted if you replace this as well it is most sub possible substituted alkene most possible substituted alkene and now you have hyperconjugation from all the four groups right that's why it is more substituted and it will be more stable because more extent of hyperconjugation so this becomes a rule there was a scientist said Jeff who studied certain reactions and based upon the product of those reactions he gave his rule S that is called as Sedgeff rule Sedgeff rule suggests that when you have an elimination reaction then the most stable product or the major product is the most substituted alkene the most substituted alkene now the, the, the explanation was not known at the time when Sedgeff gave his rule because because resonance and hyperconjugation are very recent phenomena when we started to study the wave nature of electron the wave nature of electron was very l was 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 accepted very late in the history it's, these are the discoveries of recent time and chemistry we have been studying since time immemorial and these reactions were known by that time before the concept of resonance and hyperconjugation were encapsu encapsulated so we didn't understand actually you can observe this now you can see and you can explain you have a reason why you more substituted must be more stable because when you have more substituted alkene you have more extent of hyperconjugation so there's an explanation sounds logical it sounds very reasonable and natural but of course more substituted alkene must be the major product because that must be most stable because that must be having the highest extent of hyperconjugation but when hyperconjugation was not known there was no reasonable explanation to this why more substituted alkene must be the major product and hence most stable product then said Jeff gave his rule it was applied as such on the face of it without any reason or logic that came to be known as said Jeff rule said Jeff after studying certain reaction is he observed that this is happening the said Jeff rule is nothing but that the most stable alkene will be the most substituted alkene all right that is said Jeff rule so up till now we have been drawing said Jeff alkene okay so here the two possible products would be this will be the one if you abstract hydrogen from beta 2 and this will be the one if we abstract hydrogen from beta 1 now which seems to be more substituted here you have one group 
on one side one group on the other side here we have two groups on one side one group on the other side this seems that here we have one hydrogen and here we have two hydrogens so this seems to be more substituted more substituted means less hydrogen if you count number of alpha hydrogen here you have two this is CS3 this stick is CS3 so altogether you have eight alpha hydrogen if you count here here you have CS3 three on this side and this carbon is alpha carbon directly attached to alkene and this is already making three bonds and these are CS3 so they are not CH bonds there will be only one CH bond one here and three here there's only four alpha hydrogen four here eight here so if actually the thing is more substituted will have more number of alpha hydrogen that's why it is most stable but Sajjev didn't know the didn't know the theory of hyperconjugation so he formulated his rule based upon certain observation right so this is Sajjev alkene this is the most sta more stable alkene this will be the major product This is the substrate and we have alcoholic OH- as a reagent. Alcoholic OH- is a base, right? So this elimination reaction is going to take place. So you have to give the major product this time, not giving all the products. Now we are mature enough, we are grown up, we will not draw all the products. We will discuss, we will reason and we will directly draw the major product. You try it yourself and then check up for the answer. So elimination, right? Beta elimination, right? Beta position, right? Two beta positions. So you have to judge from where you are going to abstract hydrogen from this position or this position. If we are going to abstract hydrogen from this position, then pi bond is going to come at this position. So you have two groups, methyl, methyl and one group here. If we are going to abstract hy hydrogen from this position, pi bond is going to come at this position. So you have phenyl pH here and one of the group on one side, two groups. So this seems to be less substituted. Like if you draw both of them for the sake of convenience. This is one of them. Another would be this. Which is more substituted this is more substituted because we have three groups one hydrogen this is less substituted because we have two groups two hydrogen if you count the number of alpha hydrogen three three two that makes it eight if you count the number of alpha hydrogen there's no alpha hydrogen on this side phenyl do not give any alpha hydrogen one one eight this seems to be if you if you go by what we have been studying and if we extend the same idea as that of the previous problem this seems to be more stable and that will tempt us to declare this as the major product that will be the most absurd thing we can do after studying so much of organic chemistry especially from me right and when I have told you million times million times that if you have to look to the various factors of stability in the order of their precedency and in the order of precedency resonance comes before hyperconjugation for alkene most of the time we look hyperconjugation because hyperconjugation is there in alkene most of the time we don't have resonance actually there is not resonance or hyperconjugation it's only stability alkene is stabilized by electronic transition whether it is by hyperconjugation or it is by resonance if we don't have resonance, we look only for hyperconjugation and hyperconjugation is more if we have more substituted alkene. The rule is, uh, this rule holds good enough all the time. If we have more substitu substituted alkene, then the extent of hyperconjugation will be more. And if there is no other factor stronger than hyperconjugation, then hyperconjugation 
will be the factor to decide the stability and then more substituted alkene will be the most stable alkene but here we have resonance if you if you if you open up this ph ph is phenyl phenyl ring is like this and these four pi bonds are in conjugation so there will be resonance of this pi bond with the phenyl ring this pi bond and this phenyl have this ch2 in between so this ch2 is sp3 hybridized again as we have been discussing this carbon will not have a p orbital so electronic wave from here cannot jump into phenyl crossing this because this do not have a p orbital to provide the channel for crossing of that electronic wave from this pi bond into the phenyl ring so that channel is broken this do not have the p orbital so resonance cannot take place across this sp3 hybridized carbon so there will be no resonance there is isolation so there is resonance so that makes this pi bond more stable this pi bond is more stable so this is more uh, stable so th this is the major product this is not the major product even though it has more number of alpha hydrogen alpha hydrogen doesn't matter alpha hydrogen will increase the uh, hyperconjugation that will increase certain amount of stability that will not increase the stability as much as this re resonance does so when there is resonance you don't have to look for alpha hydrogen when there is resonance the one in which there is resonance that will be the most stable product hence that will be the major product right so this is how you have to decide upon look what what what, what we are studying we haven't studied anything new there is we haven't studied any more of theories this resonance hyperconjugation resonance hyperconjugation inductive effect hydrogen bonding aromaticity angle strain van der waals strain we have already done these things and these things are going to come over and over again so this is what organic chemistry is this is the beauty of this organic after studying certain certain number of days when you bear with this concept and when you totally understand these things become very fast in exam you will solve this at the drop of your hat as fast as you will do in organic chemistry it will be very logical very rational you can solve organic paper full in bare minimum time right 